All right, just going to finish putting clay on this base. And then I'm going to work on the tail of the horse. And uh, see how far I get today. I'm running out of clay, so I'm going to have to get another block of clay on here and start softening it up. But I'll have to do that tonight. Time to play with some clay. By the way, happy Cinco de Mayo to all my friends from south of the border. I went to Mexico City right after the uh, huge earthquake back in the 90s and uh, doing research for a piece I was doing. And uh, I went to the uh, museum there, the National Museum. Wow. The stuff that they've got, unbelievable. It's great culture. Anyway, just wanted to wish you all a happy Cinco de Mayo, and I pray it's a safe one. I think I got enough clay to do the uh, tail. I hope I do. All right, I've got uh, the tail started. I've got the armature made. I don't need the tail really long. I just need it touching the ground. I'm just basically giving it the basic shape.
I don't want to get it too bushy. So I'm going to just uh, be a little conservative in what I do here. I pretty well cover the making of the mane and tail in my uh, video, instructional video on creating a horse from scratch. Also on my video, creating a, creating a horse and rider. And uh, it's a little technique that I came up with that gives it kind of a nice little waviness look to the uh, tail with very little effort so you might want to check out the uh, link below that leads you to the instructional videos I have available I'm trying to make it castable because it is going to go to bronze and I'm trying to make it as cost effective as I can because you don't want a lot of loose hair or tail out there but you want it to look like a tail and that's the hard part making it look like a tail alright I got a Blend in the uh, hairs of the horse's tail so there's no deep undercuts. And the way I do that is hopefully with a rag in my hand. There was my rag. Okay, there it is. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to clean off this uh, metal tool here. It's got a rounded end on it which makes it nice for what I'm about to do here I don't know why I was stressing so much about the tail it wasn't that hard to do <coughs> just time consuming that's all but give me time I'll Still find a way to screw it up if I can. What this does is just melts the clay and fills in holes. And the holes I can't fill in with this way, I'll just uh, come back later with some soft clay and fill it in. Like right there. All right, that's going to be it for today. I didn't have much time to work today, so did as much as I could. I've got the uh, tail pretty much done, except for, like I said, I'm going to put some 
feathers in the uh, tail and stuff like that. Um, I've got to work on the chest of the horse yet, and then I'll do the mane of the horse and the uh, ears and all that stuff. And uh, this will be pretty much close to being done for that time. All right, good night, everybody, and I'll see you uh, next time. I've got to work on the hand here, too. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.